Get full episodes of The Damage Report as a podcast on iTunes and Android, and you watch the live show every weekday on YouTube TV. We've left the worst for last, Okay. Um, at least for me, I'm not gonna speak for you. Uh, but for me, it is climate change, and that was another thing that people really tweeted quite a bit about. Uh, Tint Depot tweeted in, uh, worst topic, uh, global warming. The US federal government is not doing anything to reduce this crisis. And the media uh, does a horrible disservice by interviewing deniers as if the proven science should be debated. The debate should be how best to reduce global warming. Right. Um, so that was a big one. And look, we were constantly reminded in America, but especially in California of how bad it was with constant fires, some of the worst fires in California history. I mean, there are some that are still smoldering uh, up uh, in Northern California. We had the campfire, not to mention in other parts of the country at Hurricane Michael, Hurricane Florence, a number of different extreme weather events that also had uh, high death tolls too. There's a, you, I was shocked at that. There's a, everyone's like talking about that CNN segment, right? The, with the climate change deniers mm -hmm. and Rick Santorum ev like existing. Um, <laughs> I think people are outraged that he exists. <laughs> right. No, but I am. I, that was shocking for me too because I think listen, there's a space for that. If you are doing a show where you're having kind of like a two sides together discussion, there is a space for that. There's opportunity mm -hmm. for that. But if you're having just a simple news show. It makes, not every story has two sides. Mm -hmm. Is two plus two four? Yes, you don't bring someone well. on who says, well, I believe it's five. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you what, you do, because Or you're why? certainly under no obligation yeah, to do that. Yeah, that's not what journalism is. It's not fine, like, like reaching to find an opposing view to everything. Like, you know, when you're talking about building a new bridge in a small town, sure, get people who like the idea and people who don't. But when we're mm -hmm. talking facts, there are no two sides to a fact. Exactly. And so there's a space for that. That kind of specific, like this is just a daily newscast, that wasn't the space for that. And so I think that's why that was weird for a lot of people. And then the next day, there was this huge, they had this huge piece with meteorologists kind of explaining mm -hmm. climate change and the science. And so it just seemed, I don't know, that was a misstep. And I, you know, it happens, but yeah. that was weird. Yeah. And people are right to think that I was would, weird. Yeah, I would combine that with the fact that only a very small percentage, a tiny little fraction of all of the segments on the main cable news channels having to do with uh, those campfires. And I know that I'm focusing a lot on the fires, but okay. they were a big thing, especially here. Yeah. Um, even mentioned climate change. It was a very, very small thing, which. I would sort of get if you are only doing one story, like if like if we cover a lot of things here, sometimes a topic will get one segment that we do. Fine, if you don't mention it there, it would be better if you did, but I understand it. But if you're CNN and if you're if every show is covering it over and over throughout the hour and then the next hour we'll do breaking news on it, you have time. There are opportunities for you to mention multiple components of this story. And showing cool footage as we are, oh, I guess oh, it's over here, um, is one part of it. Talking about what's gonna be done to fight it is another part. But what caused it, sort of the root level causes for why these are getting more prevalent and worse when they happen is another part of it as well. So uh, I'm gonna read some uh, uh, viewer suggestions for topics. Okay. Before that though, I do wanna know, we've been talking about multiple, so maybe we've already mentioned it, but uh, what what was the big standout story for you? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Did did I text you something last night? What did I say? I don't remember. I think well, you mentioned a few like things. Mates. I never remember. I don't <laughs> That's remember. true. I'm so you mentioned Brett Kavanaugh. That was the standout story. Yeah, you and did what we were mention... just talking about during the break, how he acted, how he behaved. Yeah. I forgot how shocking that was. Mm -hmm. That that was a big one. You did mention two other stories, uh, <laughs> more pop culture stories. Okay. You mentioned Kanye. <laughs> Yes, that, this is fascinating to me how, mm -hmm. and not even just Kanye, but just the conversation, this kind of idea that black people are stupid if one, they don't like Bernie Sanders, or two, mm -hmm. they are Democrats. So just like this weird, it's still like people not understanding that um, there's still the kind of this uh, bubble of like, hey, like black people are allowed to think for themselves and mm -hmm. they're educated and they can make their own decisions because they move through this world different than you know you or you or you. And so let you know let people have that. And like the idea that if you're black and you're a Democrat, it's because you're not a free thinker. Just kind of mm -hmm. the bigger kind of discussion that that his behavior yeah. kind of created, kind of bounced yeah. off of that. And I don't understand how, like, if you do pay attention to the news, if you pay mm -hmm. attention to politics, if you see what's going on in America, the conversations that are going on, the idea that, that you would take away from that that black people are stupid is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. No, it's that we're all stupid. Mm -hmm. That is the answer. We're morons. That's why we're in such dire straits as a people. Climate change, by the way, is a great example of that. <laughs> um, you also mentioned Black Panther. Oh, I did. That was cool. That was just a cool. That was a cool moment. Like I think in history, 
Like that was just the, how successful that mm -hmm. movie was. And you know, because part of the reason that movies like that aren't made are because people think there they there won't be they won't success. Be make, make they money. won't be. And so that was great. And it was cool to see you know little black boys like having a superhero. Yeah. That you know, that you know looks like them. That was a cool experience yeah. to I, kind of. I think witness. it was the highest grossing movie worldwide. Yeah. It did better than Infinity War. Not America, but nationwide, uh -huh. it did. And by the way, with that and Crazy Rich Asians, the argument that there's no market for these movies seems to have been dealt a couple of blows. Hello. Yeah. So really fast, I want to mention some other stories that you guys did say uh, stood out to you. Greg Cole said Brazil. Uh, I 100% agree. Christopher Talbot said everything to do with Brexit. That is a story that we did not cover as much as we should have. We did talk about it a couple of times. We don't have the time, okay? Or the expertise on my part, but we're gonna try more <laughs> in the future. Jonathan Woods said uh, Yemen, uh, which there's been some progress on a little bit. Um, the border in Kavanaugh. Uh, Benjamin Sicellis said power grabs by state legislatures. Ben, thank you for mentioning that. Uh, we did talk about that a lot, but that is, that's a situation that's now ongoing. They passed a bunch of those bills. That power has been stripped. Hopefully court challenges can do something about it. Um, there's so much more, one hour is not enough to cover all of the damage. That's why we have this show every single day. And uh, we'll have much more of that for you in 2019. Thank you very much for watching this clip from the damage report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full damage report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.